I see uh, a lot of cats from shelters, from uh, one huge rescue group here uh, that has a uh, no-kill shelter. And they actually have a, a ward of FIV positive cats. And some of these cats' mouths were so diseased that even the gums, you just touch the gums and they just bleed profusely. One day I remember I looked down in the garbage can and it was half full of bloody gauze. Uh, this is ridiculous. And then one day I was sitting here at lunch and I, I look at trade magazines when I'm eating my lunch and I ran across an ads uh, from your company. So I ordered some and I was shocked at the difference. Absolutely shocked. Um, in fact, I even called some people that had some FIV positive cats that I had declined to do because uh, the hemorrhage was so bad. I, I just couldn't see what I was doing. Had them come back. And I had one, it was a week or two ago. And uh, this cat, I was in the fourth stage <laughs> of removing teeth on this cat, night and day. The other stages where I did not have the gel were horrible. It, my, my trash bag was full of bloody gauze. So I was I sent the cat home the same day, uh, and that's never happened before because they bled so bad. Even after I was done, I had to keep them here so they didn't soil the home. Um, I've been able to to cut down on the surgery time probably uh, at least half, if not more, which is a really good idea on an FIV positive cat. You can imagine after being in practice for ten year, or twenty five years, I'm pretty busy. And, and I, I try to limit, you know, the three anesthesias in the morning and that's it. Well, what would happen with these is I'd end up there an hour, hour and a half, and I'd have to knock off my other anesthesias, which is not good for business and not good for the cats. So I've been able to get back to three in the morning and then, of course, see all my, my cats in the afternoon. So it's, it's worked out really well financially, too.